Hello, this is again Tom Lischer. Today we're talking about Takotsubo, which is a Japanese word that I had to learn myself. It's a new disease. In fact, it's a, a mystery why we missed it for decades. But one day a uh, Japanese scientist uh, with name Sato discovered it and that's why it's called Takotsubo. And as you can see here on the slide, the shape of the heart during sit systole reminds of the shape of uh, the octopus trap of Japanese fishermen. And the ventricle that you see on the, on the video clearly resembles uh, uh, this uh, octopus trap. And of course, this is bad news because suddenly, acutely, the heart pumps very, very slowly, very weakly, and it's usually triggered by psychological or physical uh, trigger, like a fight with your husband, an uh, argument uh, with your father-in-law, God knows what, and suddenly chest pain, sweating, dyspnea, and you end up in an emergency room. And of course the question is what is the cause of it? And we have looked at this uh, with uh, Christian Templin and his team uh, in Zurich and we concluded that in fact the whole disease starts in the brain. It's a brain disease because most people have depression, psychiatric diseases, they have any neurological condition and it's typically postmenopausal women. And in postmenopause women become a bit more anxious and the midbrain that's central here becomes dysfunctional and that leads to all these consequences in the left ventricle with overreactivity of the sympathetic nervous system and eventually the sac that does no longer contract. And we looked uh, with uh, Lucienke, a, a famous uh, a neuropsychologist, at the brain in these patients and we found that the midbrain that you see here, the amygdala and hippocampus where we uh, process emotions, is abnormal in, in these postmenopausal women and that leads in any stressful or joyful, as it may be, uh, situation to an overreactivity of the sympathetic nervous system and then contraction of the uh, arteries in and particularly the microcirculation in the heart, stunning of the myocytes and in some it can even lead to death. And that's new, that's what we found that you can see here that 4% of uh, these patients actually die of pump failure or ventricular rupture and many have uh, presented in cardiogenic shock. So it's not a harmless disease, although we know that once you survive the acute phase, the left ventricular function normalizes within days and weeks. So in summary, we can say it's a new form of an acute coronary syndrome for us cardiologists, but basically it's a brain disease and the heart is just a target organ. It's not a plaque rupture or an erosion. It's not an epicardial coronary spasm. That's also common in Japanese, but it's a, a problem of the microcirculation and stunning of the myocytes. And it's an acute disease and it does not only affect Japanese, but any post, uh, postmenopausal woman that comes to the emergency room with chest pain and dyspnea, you have to think of it. It is rare, but don't forget it. It is not that rare that it's not important for your clinical practice. Thank you.